Hello, I'm Dr. Max. We're here at Max America Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic with anonymous patient. Um, and we have a, a, a pretty unique case today. Um, patient had his first procedure about 40 years ago. It was uh, kind of a procedure where they utilize large punches and it more looks like a clock here. Okay, and they, they're growing excellent and uh, the hairline is very well distinguished. The only problem is that, as you can see, the hairline is very straight and you can see the actual plugs. Back then, obviously, they did not use uh, small punches like we do today. And uh, they all grow in about 90 degrees. Actually, I would say, yeah, about 70 to 80 degrees in uh, comparison to, uh, to the plane of the head here. So what are we doing today? Well, um, we're going to create a naturally looking hairline uh, utilizing robotic uh, harvesting and some of the manual harvesting at the bottom as patient requested. So my goal today would be to create an irregular hairline to blend those grafts inside so at the end it will appear natural and uh, we have several scars here at the back of the head okay so we have several uh, scars at the back of the head and uh, the task today would be is to go uh, in between the scars a very small punch we're gonna use the 19 gauge uh, punch uh, robotically in the same size manually to extract about 700 grafts okay and I'm going to um, pretty much follow the same hairline as you can see here I will just uh, break it a little bit with this uh, uh, smaller grafts and uh, create a more natural uh, hairline with some macro and micro irregularities. Our anonymous patient actually went for consultation for a possible strip procedure and definitely he was told he was not a candidate. The reason is because there's so many scars. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight scars, uh, which definitely uh, will not make him a candidate for another strip procedure. Unlike uh, uh, strip procedures with RTAS and manual or manual FUE, we're not just limited to one small area where we can extract hair, but we can go pretty much anywhere from what we consider to be a safe zone and extract the best hair follicles this way. So uh, definitely with RTAS, we have more versatility and we have the ability to pick the best grafts and not just be limited to a small area like strip procedure.